Richie could probably die tomorrow. He, he, the way that he fucking goes, he, he probably could. There's no doubt about it. How do you get labeled like the NFL man of the year one year for the Miami Dolphins and turn around and have that scandal happen the very oh, following year? You know that I mean? scandal was just all... And imagine, it's like his boy is... Pou- I'll never forget, Pouncey was calling me. Pouncey was trying to take Romberg, man. So Pouncey just, is also a very intense human being. Yeah, he's... Uh, he's Both of them. Yeah, well, when you're boy, they're making Netflix specials about your serial killer butter. Buddy, yeah. You know what I mean? It, it depends. So, so funny story is uh, when they suspended Richie. That's about Aaron Hernandez. Yeah. For those also a Florida Gator. Gator. Yeah. Um, for those people that don't know, uh, when Richie was suspended, he obviously still kept the relationship with all the offensive linemen. So what they ended up doing, this is cool food, food for thought for the podcast. I don't think people know this either. Um, they elected Richie with all of the <laughs> fine money. For Richie to arrange the offensive line trip. Because at the end of the year, all of the fines that you guys accumulate, aside from the NFL distributed fines, all of the in-house, in-room fines that you get for farting or tapping a guy on the you ass. Get, wait, you get fined for farting? Depends. If it stinks really bad, the big stank fine, that's like 500 bucks. If you're you making, get stank, Wait, you get fined 500 bucks for throwing down... Throwing for for a, a fart that makes people like gag a little bit? Yeah, you're, you're getting wow. 500 bucks. If you disrupt a meeting for a fart, that's 500 bucks. Wow. Mm-hmm. This is mm-hmm. fucking life changing. Yeah, it's pretty intense. I'm gonna and, implement uh, that here. Yeah, some 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 of the fines are pretty pretty funny. You you make them up actually. You actually have a makeup list and you put it right at the front door as as your offensive line has their meeting room, and guys are getting fined left and right. And at the end of the year, you put together a trip or an event or whatever it was. And Richie was still donned with the task of planning the the guys trip, the the offensive line trip. This and they, and amazing. instead of having a private plane, Richie was so off of his rocker, not on his meds. Instead of getting a private plane, which would have cost him whatever to go to either Costa Rica or DR, or wherever they went, I can't remember what it was. Richie gets a seven fucking thirty seven. Rents a thing? fucking whole seven thirty seven plane for nine guys. He <laughs> the whole plane. <laughs> That's when Pouncey's like, Romberg, you got to do something, man. You got to like <laughs> fucking so reel them in, figure it out, whatever it is. <laughs> and you can imagine the shenanigans at the at the venue, at the venue that went down, let alone the flight well, over there. How much does it cost to rent a 747? It had to be 75, 80 grand easily. Easily. One way. <laughs> That's incredible. One way. No doubt. Because a, a private, it's going to cost you, what, about seven grand an hour? And to go to either Coaster or the DR or something like that could have been like a thirty grand. So the whole plane just for you guys. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh, he's out there, man.